what is multiple exciton generation? Well, in the typical scenario, the absorption of one photon only leads to one electron hole pair, which means in the bulk material, photons with energy lower than the band gap are, na are not able to excite an electron transit from the valence band to the conduction band. These photons are not absorbed by the materials at all. For photons with energy higher than the band gap, a photon promotes only one electron home pairs, creating one electron home pairs at most, and extra energy dissipate in the form of heat by lattice vibration and transfer into useless phonons. The process that the excited carrier with extra energy relaxed to the bent edge is called hot carrier cooling or thermal relaxation. Normally in the box semiconductor, the hot carrier cooling process is extremely fast and the relaxation time can be as short as one picosecond, resulting in inefficient utilization of photon energy and limiting the maximum power conversion efficiency. As a result, the ex external quantum efficiency cannot surpass 100% and the highest efficiency of the single junction solar cell, which is also known as the shock crystal limit, is 33.7%. However, the thermal relaxation is not the doom of the high energy photons. It is found that in the quantum dots or the nanocrystals, because of the quantum confinement effect, the hot carrier cooling time can be prolonged, and a strong interaction between the carriers in the quantum dots provides a new carrier relaxation channel. Instead of converting to heat, the excited carrier passes energy to another valence band electron and excited across the band gap. As a result, the absorption of a single photon bearing twice or multiple times the band gap energy leads to more than one photo-induced carrier. This process is called multiple exciton generation or carrier multiplication. It is considered as the inverse process of order recombination. According to the calculation, the MEG provides a possibility of the increasing the PCE of a single junction solar cell to 44.4% and breaking the shock limit.